G'day, Glenn Morris from the Smart Energy Lab here today. And I'm not in the lab, I'm in my car. In fact, I'm driving my EV on the way to the lab because we installed a Senec Home 3 hybrid inverter a few months ago in my home. And I wanna to talk to you a little bit about that unit. Some of its features and why we chose where we put it and what we found about the installation process. But I mean, in a nutshell, I love it. It's, it looks great, it's freestanding, uh, it works as you would expect. It's got uh, nine kilowatt hours of usable storage, it's got a five kilowatt hybrid inverter, uh, it's AC coupled to our existing solar and connected to its own uh, dedicated solar as well. So it's a great little unit. One of the things I really like about it is the fact that it's freestanding. It just kind of sits there and hums well, maybe I'd describe it as purrs. When it's charging, it's extremely quiet. Uh, nice, simple display. I just often walk up to it and give it a press, see that it's charging, see how much is in the tank. Its display really is designed for home uh, users. Not too much technical information. I mean, just a, a bar graph showing uh, how much energy is in the tank at the moment, in the batteries and also some information about generation. Where's it going? Um, how much are you uh, charging or discharging the battery and how much is self-use? So all of that uh, is all simply displayed on this unit. So there you go. That's the Scenic Home 3 Hybrid Inverter. All right, well, let's get into installing it. G'day, I'm Glenn Morris from the Smart Energy Lab, and today we're looking at the Scenic Home V3 Hybrid. So this is a five kilowatt hybrid inverter. It's got a dual MPPT with a massive 23 amp uh, maximum short circuit current input, which for those in the know is actually a real plus for today's high current modules. Inside this unit are two five kilowatt hour Samsung batteries. They're 51.5 volt um, nominal, uh, and a total storage of 10 kilowatt hours. So that's just awesome. In this package too, it's such a compact, and if you ask my opinion, uh, elegant looking unit. So the dual MPPTs have a huge voltage window from 75 volts up to 600 volts. So basically work with almost any combinations of panels and strings. Remember that really high input current rating too. The uh, unit is IP30 in Australia. Now that, that kind of means it's an indoor unit. Now you might be thinking, oh, I thought you couldn't put a battery indoors. Well, yes you can, uh, as long as it's not a habitable room. So here we are in a utility room, actually in my house, uh, and it's got all the right requirements. It's got a DC isolator adjacent to the unit for the PV array. It's got an AC isolator, actually the sub board right next to me, adjacent to the unit, because there's no inbuilt switching. You do have a display on the unit, so there's a display on the front here, which tells us, you know, charge, discharge, uh, self-use, export, etc., uh, and an, a warning sign if there's such an earth fault, for, for instance, uh, or any other uh, condition. Now, this unit is also connected to the cloud. Uh, unlike many inverters which use Wi-Fi with all its stability and password issues, uh, it uses Ethernet, wired Ethernet. So you connect a, a hardwired connection to this, that goes to your home router and you've got a very reliable connection uh, to the internet. It won't change when customers change their Wi-Fi password. Well, one of the things I really like about Scenic is their app. Now, I don't mean to be rude, but 
Customers need something that's pretty dumbed down. And I think Scenic have got it just right. So what we're looking at here is four circles showing generation, consumption, uh, exchange with the grid, and battery storage. And you can refresh it. Um, so they were just giving a refresh of all the values on the unit there. We can see what it's doing right now uh, in terms of uh, input and output. So at the moment, uh, the battery's full, so it's not charging the battery or discharging it. There's still surplus AC coupled solar, uh, which is supplying the loads. And I can also get some data about this unit. And so I can have a look at how it's been performing over time. Now, that's about as geeky as you want to get. I think most people will be just going, is it working? Um, how much is in the tank? And uh, am I exporting uh, anything to the grid? Is there an opportunity for self-use? So the app is really excellent. Uh, the other thing which I like a lot is the user documentation. It's uh, really straightforward. It tells you what the maintenance requirements are and the operation of the unit. Uh, you know, Scenic have done a great job with uh, documentation, but also with training. Now. Anne, my electrician, and I installed this system and became a certified Cynic installer by doing the online training. In fact, you can't even get access to the user manual, sorry, to the installing manual until you've done the online training. Now, I really like that idea, which is that uh, installers should know what they're doing before they have a go. Uh, unfortunately, practice sometimes is open the box, read the manual, uh, installation guide and give it a go but this is a sophisticated piece of equipment I mean I said it's got um, ports for things like Ethernet uh, for MPPT connections to PV arrays uh, it's got a monitoring of a energy meter and the switchboard next to me all of these things uh, have to be configured correctly also the way that the batteries are installed and the monitoring of the BMS from the batteries so there is a little bit to it but it's really well put together. Uh, so, you know, all the cables are provided. You're not having to make any connections. Uh, even the meter cable, for instance, comes with an RJ45 plug on it. So you can just plug it straight in. And uh, if it's not long enough, there's an extender. So you can extend it with a pre-made RJ45 cable. Really nice, really nice thing. Anyway, I'm, I'm loving this unit. Look, the form factor is something that really got me at first. It's just kind of cute, really. Um, uh, it's also very compact on the floor. I, I love the footprint being so small. It doesn't take up a lot of room. And this is here in the utility room. We don't want something uh, that's gonna be wide and we haven't got a wall, so freestanding, that's another plus. As you can see, it's by a window and uh, there's nowhere to mount this thing uh, in this location. It's a pretty packed room, as you can probably see from the, uh, the, the edges of the frame. So all in all, uh, really like the function, the installation experience, uh, the quality of the product and the performance. Thanks a lot, Scenic.